Okay, let us continue the usual stories. And uh, this is another case of the scarcity mindset gone wrong. And so we have this individual who said that, hey, because I can't take no for an answer, I am going to just do something that's going to cost me my freedom. So man allegedly beats friend for refusing kiss. A 33-year-old music producer denied claims that he assaulted his childhood friend after she refused his kisses. Okay then, there you go. Here's the setup. You're sharing the Kingston St. Andrew Parish Court yes, this week that on December 19th, 2021, that's basically two years ago. At 4 a.m., Kimani Richards and complaint were at a property along Manis Hill Road. It is alleged that he kissed a complaint, but she refused a romantic gesture. She then called her boyfriend. Yes, there you go. Um, so apparently this guy knows that she's involved. I say, yeah, I don't really see an issue, issue despite that. She then called her boyfriend to inform him about Richards' actions. Richard reportedly got upset about it and began hitting a complaint all over her body, causing swollen bruising. Richard's plead not guilty assault occasioned bodily harm on Monday. And there we have Senior Judge Parish, Co Parish Judge J Lori Ann Montague, who asked her, asked him, Hey, you tried to kiss her? And he said, Yeah, I did, but it was a long time ago the accused man replied. Okay, but she's saying that you did after when she called her boyfriend. Anything like that happen? You have any idea what should do? Why she make up a story against against you? She asked. She um she asked on Commander Richards. Okay, so I basically goes on to say that he um that he and her boy her boyfriend her former boyfriend don't get along well, so, uh, and that he that she's making uh, making up a lie for every reason. So so despite what he said. Trouble that utters are inconsistent with Richard's explanation. The priest imposed a bail condition or the accused to have no or can't order the complainant. And basically, this is still ongoing. So, yeah, unless it turns out that the woman completely lied, which is a possibility, I'm not going to say that. But but the fact that this guy has so many holes in his, his alibi, yeah, you're going to. You have to believe that. This is a case of someone who is a certified gal clone like the guy knew that at the time that she was involved and and whatever the, whatever relationship like with his for no former friend he decided that hey i can't I, I don't i won't take being rejected for answer and that was basically uh, and when he couldn't get his way he said yeah i'm going to do something that's going to jeopardize my possible freedom even though he's all-time bail if he does get charged was it really worth it mean like and the reason i'm doing this recording is this is what happens when you have the scarcity mindset now i don't know chances are this guy probably had a girlfriend at the time but he said yeah why well, have i can have my cake and eat it too right that's not how it works in the real world but and this is a good example of the, of me of myself that being true my thing is that is if someone of the opposite sex, whether or not they're involved or not, they're not feeling you like that, just move on. It's not really worth it. It doesn't matter how, um, how much the, the small head between your legs is speaking to you. Use yeah, Just understand that no means no. And I'm saying to the men especially who don't, who don't really like hearing that, hearing that um, statement, and then end up getting all types of troubles, trouble that jeopardizes their future and their livelihood. This is, yeah, just when a woman says no, no means no. And yeah, I'm going to say if a man say no, no means no as well. I ain't going to leave out the man, woman, regardless of gender. And, and the thing is why I say that is because nobody, regardless how they look, is worth it. I mean, like, if someone doesn't want you like that, I would just, just basically respect their wishes, keep it stepping, find a better person. That's always the thing. And if you're involved already, well, you should even be entertained if you're already involved. Just basically, yeah, just be happy with who you're with or find someone else who will reciprocate your your advances better and just keep it stepping. Yeah, this guy obviously doesn't believe in self-control or, or boundaries and as a result he's pretty much possibly jeopardized his freedom and as it's to the young bro um, brothers out there can you take this as a case study on what not to do you don't force yourself upon anybody regardless how much you're a tri type person yeah just um basically um, if um if they don't feel you that way yeah don't really just uh yeah just keep your, your just keep your advances and your feelings to yourself and just 
keep it trucking man that's why i read the story because he had the scarcity mindset yeah this is what will get you and this is and again this is what you don't do so this is for state of jamaica and the caribbean check out my other youtube pages miles Gusson ferron miles your productions real thoughts and miles all right